Good morning. You're watching Morning Rush. I'm Alex Livingston. The Kansas City Chiefs community is mourning the unexpected death of a former cheerleader. Crystal Chrissy Anderson died in March shortly after giving birth to her stillborn daughter at 21 weeks. Her family says a day after losing her daughter, Chrissy developed a fever and was diagnosed with sepsis. She went into multiple organ failure, underwent three surgeries, and was put on a ventilator but did not survive. The Kansas City Chief cheer team remembering Anderson on social media, posting in part, quote, she was loved and adored by her teammates, fans, and strangers who were never strangers for long. We will miss her kind spirit, joyful energy, and her sparkle. Joining us now is Chrissy's husband, Clayton Anderson, and Shauna Ademek, uh, Chrissy's friend who started a GoFundMe in her honor. Thank you both uh, for joining us. Uh, I, I know that this is a hard thing to talk about and I want to um, just say I'm so so sorry for your loss when I saw this headline and, and read the story my heart was just absolutely crushed uh, Clayton I want to do kind of a mental health check-in with you how are you doing I mean every day is it's hard uh, kind of got to take it one day at a time I um, went out to the cemetery yesterday to go talk to them so not the way you want to spend Easter but you know, that's one of those hurdles that you have to kind of get over, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Clayton, so you and Chrissy, you had concerns during this pregnancy uh, because you had lost a baby in the past. Were there any indications, any signs that um, this pregnancy may have been headed down that road as well? Yeah, we were, we wanted to be very proactive mm -hmm. with this one. So we had those early conversations with maternal fetal medicine and um and our OBGYNs, and we actually established a plan to go in and meet at week 14 16 18 20 23 32 um with maternal fetal medicine um week 16 it was the monday morning after the chiefs won the super bowl we went in and they noticed that some didn't look quite right with her cervix and they did a procedure called a cerclage, which is a proactive way to ensure that the cervix reaches week 36 or 37 mm -hmm. to get to viability. And um, after that, they told us it was the most proactive thing that they could do. We were doing the right thing. Um, they canceled our week 18 appointment and then said, we don't need to see you until the 20 week anatomy scan. At the 20 week anatomy scan, we saw baby and baby was very big, very healthy. And, you know, she was measuring in at 21 and five days at mm -hmm. 20 weeks. So heart rate going at 158 beats a minute look, looked great. And then they told us the words, you know, unfortunately, you know, I'll always hear those words. It's a mom's cervix and look like it's the cerclage is working and it's hourglassing. And so they told us now that goal isn't to get to week 36 anymore it's to get to week 22. wow i i, I don't have a lot of words it's just, it's just it's so devastating to go through this um shauna you you're you were chrissy's friend um what was going through your mind um as you're uh, more than likely hearing about this process it, it it was all a total shock. Mm -hmm. Chrissy was healthy, athletic. She was prepared. Everything she did was in preparation for this moment. Uh, she made sure to eat healthy and didn't put anything bad, in, bad into her body and stayed fit. And so this was a complete shock. And, you know, it happened so fast. It happened too fast. And, and bottom line, there are so many reasons to look at this and, and see why this shouldn't have happened. Uh, Chrissy was magic personified, as we have said many times about her personality, her ability to bring joy. And not just as a chief cheerleader, Chrissy was so many more things. Yes, I, I cheered with her and she was great on the field, but she was also a um, software developer for Oracle Health and actually was part of the team that received the patent for assess, uh, assessing risk and postpartum hemorrhaging, which as you know, is also a cause, cause of maternal death. And so this is, you know, Chrissy was a champion of women's health. It, this just wasn't right. And, you know, to see this woman who is 
40 years old. She is high risk. She's had a, a stillbirth in the past. And to go into this, she shouldn't have the same care as a someone who's high risk at the age of 30. It should right. be different. And Clayton, I think that Clayton feels the same. So Clayton, along those lines, I, I wanna ask you about the work that she was doing. Uh, Shauna mentioned that she was a software engineer and she was focused on software for healthcare in postpartum risks. Um, let us in, I guess, on, on, on some of the conversations that you two had just about how important this was to her. Yeah, it's, you don't see a lot of black women in software, right. period. Mm -hmm. See even fewer in healthcare and for her, her idea of technology was always to make the world better. And, you know, when she started at Cerner originally, later at Oracle Health, it was the idea that I want to do software, but I want to do it for good. I want people to be better off. I want to leave a lasting legacy in this world with technology. And for her, that's, that's where it kind of started, where it was always going to go, and she felt most fulfilled when she was doing that with women's health. And what else do you think um, is a part of her legacy that she leaves behind? She, she, you know, she also did yoga. She, like we talked about, did software. She did cheerleading. She was always on the go and everything she did was, she did it with such passion and a smile and joy that she that's that's her lasting legacy you know we what happened was tragic and awful and i don't wish it on anyone but she i keep waiting for her to walk in the door with a big smile on her face and say what are y'all so sad about um that's that's her legacy is is spreading happiness joy and love and shauna uh what will be one thing that you miss the most i'm sure there are many more than just one mm -hmm. Oh gosh, there are so many. There are so many. I think it's just being able to text her, pick up the phone and call her, um, have her, you know, be there with us every single day for every single moment that, you know, we're able to to celebrate milestones that will come. I think just missing Chrissy, she she definitely leaves a gap, a hole in our hearts, that that one that won't be filled by others. But one of the reasons that Clayton, her family, myself, and many of her other friends want to continue to share her story um, and, and bring forward these important conversations about the, mater the growing maternal death rate, sepsis, and others is because we don't want anyone else to experience this. We want to bring life to others because Chrissy was life. She was joy, and she would have been the one out here advocating for what's right. All right, Clay and Shauna, thank you both uh, for coming on the show and, and, and sharing Chrissy with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Jake?